Hey guys, Colin here from Nexus Tech. So today I'm bringing you a motion graphics tutorial, one of the most requested videos on my channel. Uh, I've done motion graphics for a lot of the intros in my videos, and you guys really do seem to like it, and I really like it as well. It's very clean and nice, not just talking about mine, talking about motion graphics in general. Um, so I decided I'd do a tutorial. Um, but I did want to mention also I just got off a 12 hour flight so it's not the best time to do it but I'm focused enough that I can talk about it well um, I just couldn't you know look not tired so just thought I'd mention that alright so when you get into After Effects you just want to go new project as I just did um, and you want to create a new composition so if you already know how to do set up the sequence then that's fine um, but I'm gonna go over it anyway just so you guys are all on the same settings as me um, so we're gonna name it Motion Graphics Tut, MG Tut. Uh, so I'm just going to 1920 by 1080, uh, 30 FPS and 15 seconds. All right, so we have our timeline here and our um, preview screen, preview window here. Um, so we need a background. So what we want to do is go up to Layer, New, Solid, and I'm gonna make it kind of a dark gray. So I think that looks good. And press OK. Cool. So we have our dark gray solid. So Command Z to undo, by the way. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to make this wipe in kind of like this. Like that. I, I really can't do it with the mouse, but you guys know what I mean. So what I want to do is click these down arrows here. And what this will do is bring up all of our options here. So you have anchor point, which is just this center, position, where it is on the screen, scale, how big it is, um, rotation, obviously, and opacity. So that's just its transparency. Um, so what we can do here um, is I want it to swipe up from the top. So we're gonna do that, bring it all the way to the top, and then we're gonna click our keyframe, our little stopwatch here and it created a keyframe. Now, if we go a little bit later and bring it down to the middle, an easy way to do this is bring up your line window and just align it to the middle. Then we have our two keyframes, and if we hit, hit play, there we go. Very simple. Animation is that simple in After Effects, um, but obviously that does not look good at all. First of all, we wanna make it a bit faster, so I'm gonna cut it down to even faster than that just a real quick there we go that looks cool but it still looks kind of it doesn't look natural it it, it, it looks just just real flat and not that good um so we want to change that uh, also i'm going to enable motion blur um there's another way to do that so if you click toggle switches you can add it there um just so it looks a bit more natural all right, but we'll go back. Okay, so um, the first thing you wanna do is smooth these out. And all you have to do is select both keyframes, control click or right click, depending on what you are on, and then select easy ease. All right, so on a fast transition like this, it's hard to see the difference. Before, after. But there is a difference, believe me and it'll also help for our next step. So once you've done that, smoothed it out a little bit, you wanna go to the graph editor here and make sure they're both still selected. And you'll see a little, so I need to move my laptop. You'll see a little arc. And this represents the movement of the shape. So, you know? Um, so what we're gonna do is we kinda of wanna make it go and then settle. I use my mouth to make a sound because that kind of, so that, that harsh movement, and then it goes mm, and settles down. <laughs> so a really weird way to do it, especially into a mic this close. So you got a little bit of an ASMR experience from Nexus Tech, so there you go. But uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm going for. Um, so what you, what you do is you select the bottom of the arc and you drag it back like that. So that's good. So it'll go unsettle. So let's watch it. All right, so it's really hard to do with a um, animation this long. So just so you can see it properly. 
yeah see how it settles at the end there it slows down so if we didn't have that it would look like that all right so having that nice arc really helps and I'm actually just gonna keep it dragged out like that because now it goes quite quickly um, so I really like that that's a clean way of bringing it in um, but now we want to make text come up and kind of pop so let's do that now okay so for the title guys um, in terms of motion graphics typography is extremely important um, but yeah, we kind of want to make the text pop. We kind of want to make it stand out. And there are a few little techniques that I want to show you today um, that'll help you do that. So uh, yeah, um, I just had to redo the project. So if the transition looks a little different, probably don't notice. Um, that's just because I had to redo it very quickly, but it took 30 seconds. So it's not a big deal once you learn it. Um, okay, so we're gonna get text that comes up and says, well, it's huge, Nexus. Oh, it looks like Netflix, look at that. Okay, um, and what we want to do, we're gonna make it smaller. So grab, you click on the, to make it smaller and not warp it like that. You just click and then hold shift and bring it down. We'll make it like that big, even that's pretty big, but that's all right. Um, and then you see a line to put it there. So we want to make it kind of go like uh, scale up and then scale back down. But the problem with this is if we did it right now, I'll show you what happen. Oh, that is not, <laughs> not what we're going for. So close this so don't get confused. I'll show you what happens. It comes up from the corner there because that's where the anchor point is. And that's not what we want. We want it to come up right from the center because that looks a lot better. So what we do is we move the anchor point. It's probably a better way to do this, but just relatively to the middle. All right, so that's pretty much right in the middle. And then we go and align it. So there we go. Now, if we go to the scale, look at that, right in the center. All right, so I want its final scale to be about 20. Uh, I don't know, I like minimal, so I like it being tiny, but just for the sake of the tutorial and it being easier to see, I'll do it like this. Um, all right, that looks cool. So we will... Um, so, okay, so we have it come in like this. I kind of want it to start coming in about here. So I'm gonna make a keyframe for scale at its final size and move that over later because that's it's gonna come into that size. And now I'm gonna make a new keyframe and make it zero. All right, and so now we have that. We do not want it to do that. Okay. All right, so it's looking kind of cool. Now. That looks clean, that looks clean. And once we add the easy ease and the graph editor, just like we did with the uh, original initial transition, it'll look really nice. But I wanna make it kind of pop, all right? And kind of what I was talking about before. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So it's very simple. The final size is 20. So we're gonna move that over a couple keyframes. Move back, maybe a couple more. And we're gonna make this 22. All right, so it comes up and then retracts. It's, it bounces, basically. See that? All right, so it's a bit too quick. There we go. It's nice. I really like that look. All right, so we're gonna select it all and select Easy Ease. And then, of course, go into the graph editor and play around a bit. So I want it to go, um, I want it to ease in. And then for this part, I don't think it matters too much. So we can't really see it ease in. There we go. I like that a lot. So I think that looks really nice. And so, yeah, with this, you could literally do this. All right, so I'm gonna put it on screen where the desk comes up. You just, all you have to do is work with Photoshop and bring some elements in and just keep keyframing stuff and animating it very basically. Um, once you have the easy ease and the smooth transitions down, you can really do almost anything, anything in terms of motion graphics. Um, but yeah, so that kind of covers the basics. Um, that is all I knew from when I did like a lot of these videos for motion graphics. 
So yeah, just have a play around, see what you think. Um, and then in the next episode of the motion graphics series, uh, I'll talk about some more advanced stuff like spinning shapes and, uh, you know, special things like that. Um, but for now, I think this looks cool. And if I just change, change this to Netflix, maybe they would use it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you guys. Um, again, uh, I hope this wasn't, you know, too basic, uh, cause I will be doing more videos like this in the future, whole series, hopefully. Um, also, there was a video like this already on my channel, but it was kind of targeted to a different audience. So I decided just to redo it and name it more motion graphics tutorial. Um, so yeah, if you didn't like this tutorial and you want something very similar, you can go to my other one. It's called how to make smooth animations in After Effects, and that should help you out really well. Um, but either way, I do ho hope this helped you. Uh, send me what you guys do on your first few tries, and I'll give some feedback and see what you do. Um, but yeah, thank you again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next week. Yo.